the multivariant Magnus of Figma. So let's go back in time and figure out where it all started. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share how you can reduce the complexity by utilizing Figma's variables and nested instances. So you design your very first button. Sometimes you might need a, a leading icon or you need a trailing icon. Sometimes you might have an icon and you don't want the text inside. Now, sometimes you might be designing a button for a SaaS app. Therefore, you might need different sizes. For example, you need a small size. Or you might need an extra small size. Or sometimes you might even need a link style button. You might even need different types. Let's say you need a secondary or you need soft or even a destructive button. And then sometimes you also need to design for different states. So now you need a hover and then active. Also, you have focus, which has the ring around and then there's the last one which is disabled. So when you've designed all those different type of buttons, you end up having a system similar to this. So now this can seem quite a lot and whether this impacts performance, that's a question. Scalability, maintaining this can be quite daunting. So what happens if you need to make a change to these buttons? What happens if you want to make them rounded? One solution for that is to actually have a button base. And then this is going to control everything in here. So as a very quick example, if I was to go to the large button and I was to then change this to rounded full, you can see all the large ones have gone rounded full and that's quite a nice and quick way of doing this. So if I just take that back to six. So how can we improve on this system to make it more scalable, less maintenance, and also improve the performance? With all the recent updates from Figma, such as nested components, variables, booleans, what I arrived at is this system here. <laughs> So you can see the massive difference. I've utilized a lot of the booleans. So as an example, we can see on here, we have the state, we have the type, and also I'm utilizing the nested instances. So in this case, these are button-based tests. So your company now needs a new button, which is for AI. So now they just want a completely new style and they want it to stand out. So how can we add that to this type of system? As an example, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna increase this and I'm gonna choose these ones and I'm just gonna command D. Then I'm just gonna bring it all the way here. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna highlight all of these. And now we have to give it a unique type. So I'm gonna call this AI. Okay, so we have the different states already set up. So this is the default state. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to change this. So the nice thing about this system is because I'm utilizing variables, I can change it directly here without having to go into the nested components. So I press enter to get into the nested component. So if I go back to the wrapper component, I'm going to just change the border. So here I'm going to do a quick change and just change the border. And because I've made one already, I, I made a style for a gradient, which is an angular. So this is the new style for the AI button. Now this one here, this is on hover. So what happens when you hover? I'm actually going to change the, let's have a look. I'm going to change this one here, which is the surface. So I'm going to now just say, hey, we want the angular gradient. However, we need to change the text. So I'm going to say we need that to be primary light. There you go, pretty simple. And then we have the active states. So let's just go in. So here I'm going to pick the gradient again. And we're going to go light. So is there going to be a change? Maybe we should also have the border also having the gradient. So for the focus style, we're going to leave it as that. Okay, so now on to the disabled. So what we're going to do is actually change the border. We're going to go gradient. And just as an example, 
where I'm not going to create a new star. I'm just going to break this one. And let's just say we have it a bit faded. So let's say 50. Or maybe a bit more faded, 20. And now let's give this a test. So Shift I. Let's bring in that audio button test. Let's have a, a zoom in. And now let's find the AI type. Here we go. And then let's see if all the different sizes work. And that is pretty, pretty nice. And let's just change the text to build. So let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Do you actually use a base component? Are you using nested components? What do you think of this solution? And I'll see you in the next video.